hello and welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to talk about privacy and security and how to protect yourself online we'll be discussing uh, onion fruit uh, tools that helps you access the Tor network with ease on windows 10 i will show you step by step instruction on how to download and install onion fruit on your computer so stay tuned so in uh, and before we begin make sure you hit the subscribe button here or else make sure you are subscribed to my channel to keep uh, updated on each and every tutorial i'm going to release so before we dive into the installation process let me briefly explain what onion fruit is so basically onion fruit is uh, an open source software developed by dragon network a dragon fruit network that simplifies the process of accessing the Tor network it creates a, a secure connection between your device and the Tor network allowing you to browse the internet anonymously uh, the onion fruit uh, loads your machine's network whole machine ne uh, network connection unlike the Tor browser which roots only the browser connection and there are some requirements uh, need for you to uh, be able to, to run the onion uh, fruit so the you have to have a, a 2gb ram on your machines and uh, non-proxed uh, or rather non-proxed in internet connection uh, uh, also you need to have a, a net framework uh, version from uh, 4.72 or 4.8 uh, should be installed on your machine uh, to get started uh, head uh, head over to github and search for onion fruit or rather uh, open your browser and uh, search uh, uh, dragon fruit as you can see here dragon fruit dot network then you'll be okay the first time you browse on to this uh, website you see uh, interface like this so you should cl uh, click on onion fruit here and then this one will open or rather if you prefer to go to github you should go to this uh, github page and you get to or uh, you have an option to download uh, uh, onion fruit this one here onion fruit so what you you do either uh, either of this uh, you can come here on the release uh, to download the latest uh, executable file as you can see there are numerous here but i'm going to show you with a with a window version one this one i bet they are for mac os so you uh, click on the install for it to start downloading so i'm going to click it yeah and it's going to download on my machine so i'm going to save it and give it some time for it to download this uh, also depend on your internet connection speed so as we wait for it to download make sure you hit that subscribe button like uh, write comment in the section below so as we wait you can as well join the discord uh, of dragon fruit network here as well as give the for for the uh, guitar page yeah let me see it is downloading here we wait for it to finish and then we we'll start to also for you can as well if you don't have the if you don't have the net framework you can go and search for net framework
yeah the road yeah then uh, i'm going to provide these uh, links in the description really below so you can just click and download them yeah this one from microsoft website make sure you already download this one from microsoft website yeah so the recommended one as you can see is a net framework 4.8 uh, which was released on April 18, 2019. Yeah, the downloading. Uh, it seems uh, our download, uh, our file is already downloaded. So the next step will be to locate the folder where our executable file ha ha have been uh, downloaded to. So I'm going to open it and this is our our file it should look like this so uh, what we are going to do we are going to learn the installation and i'm going to right click and learn as an administrator in this case uh, as you can see windows protected uh, whatever so are going to you may encounter a warning message from your politic system asking if you want to allow the program to make changes to your device uh, uh, click yes and allow to continue okay if you have uh, you don't already have a dot uh, framework network uh, it should throw an error and that's why you need to go to Microsoft uh, website and download it and install it and then we boot, uh, reboot your machine uh, to stop any future issues after installation so uh, I'm going to run it and to come with uh, this uh, user control then click yes and the installation will begin so it's going to take uh, a few maybe a few seconds or some few minutes uh, for it to do the installation this is, uh, it is installing and yeah initializing registering updating server in 4 ip or pv4 then to do its thing okay this process may okay will depend on your network uh, connection so it is updating the server info so it is now updating uh, ipv6 uh, so let's give it some time and as you can see here down in the tab here you can see it is red uh, meaning it is disconnected but when it is connected you should turn to green in color so let wait for it to to finish then we are going to proceed to the next step and please guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel share it widely with others yeah it is checking okay as you can see it's, it is already installed and on my network so by default uh, onion fruits come prefigured with reasonable settings however if you want to customize your experience further you can do so by clicking on the uh, on the settings uh, icon in the down uh, uh, right part okay uh, of the application window uh, here you can adjust uh, failure settings so let me click it and you can see the settings that you can set so I'm going to leave what it is so that uh, the the applicant or the onion fruit can choose a uh, throw entry country or also throw exit country but this uh, 
if there is uh, someone trying to decode uh, or listening to a tour entry or exit country cannot uh, be able to siphon or listen to a or exit release because it will be uh, it will keep uh, changing so then dns uh, we are going to maybe we can uh, uh, for you to access the onion site here you can enable this uh, secure dns although you can see as well here it is uh, enable experimental dns routing so i'm going to access so i, uh, I can access the onion site then bridges you can you can leave at it is although configure on, uh, onion fruit to connect to all using unlisted entry node so this was help you if let's say for instance in your jurisdiction uh, there is some broking by the government or, or whatever you can enable this and you can be able to access uh, through, through other peer machines so loading this one you don't have to change anything features you can see uh, cutting edge release you can as well leave at ease as devote will be fine with you so i'm going to cross this and the next uh, country here we are going to leave it as random so we're going to uh, toggle this uh, connecting bar and it is going to start uh, connecting so as you can see here so we're going to wait for it to connect going to take some few seconds or some few minutes and then we are good we are going to connect so basically connection here depends on your network bandwidth so it's uh, yeah as you can see it has turned uh, green here and it's also showing us the status connection here so so as you can see tour network on and fruit uh we can see yeah you see we are being connected to netherad yeah so Uh, verifying the connection once connected you see a green light as we have seen here down yeah additionally uh, you can as well visit our website like what is my ip.com to verify that your ip address has changed uh, and this will uh, indicate uh, that you are now browsing the internet through the tron network so let me what is uh, what is my ip uh, what is my ip dot com i'm going to see the connection here our which our newly accessible okay there is one thing to note uh, when you ro load your whole connection or your whole machine connection uh, browsers will start to to ask you for verification because uh, especially google will start uh, detecting that you are running on a looted network so which it cannot uh, authenticate automatically so you need to keep a uh, on verifying that you are human and you are not uh, a bot so with this one I'm going to verify with the cloud fair yeah and after verification we are going to see our network I don't know why it is taking uh, keep uh, going for the back back and forth don't know So it is decided not to connect. I don't know. Yeah. It is taking too long.
let's see it's going to yeah what is my p let's see so it is detecting my public ip4 detecting i ipv6 ip location my uh, sp it is going to change everything when you route uh, through this uh, tron network yeah it's checking a little bit wrong what's up what's up what's up let me try to refresh to see whether you're going to get it mm -hmm. what 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 maybe ip let me what do you call it ip chicken I think let me check check uh, check our connection this one seems to be lagging I don't know yeah we can check with this one check uh, to see our connection yeah So as you can see here, if you can see, name address is 18.tor.exit.nothing.try.nether. dot nothing try dot netherart. Yeah. So current IP. This is our current IP which has been routed. Let's confirm with the uh, another uh, what is my IP address I want you to confirm exactly uh, your network has been routed and a point to know that this doesn't mean that you are you are secure in you need also to have other measures for you to be secure so as well as you can see here uh, our ISP is not serve uh, net uh, cities Pibo, Ohio region United States and our IP address is here same as here if you can see it well yeah this one doesn't seem to work so that is it uh, with these simple steps you have su uh, successfully installed and configured onion fruit remember using tools like uh, onion fruit is essential for maintaining your online privacy and security by routing your traffic through the Tron network, you can protect yourself against data collection, hackers, and other malicious actors. And thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial helps you to understand how to use Onion Fruit effectively. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to, to stay updated with the latest tech content. Cheers, guys! See you on the next videos. Uh, I'm out.